We'll now go to Dr. Bruce Vanderhoff, our Chief Medical Officer at the Health Department. Uh, Bruce, thank you for joining us. Uh, he's going to explain new guidelines for quarantining after exposure to someone with COVID-19. Uh, Dr. Vanderhoff. Thank you, Governor. Quarantining after we've been exposed to COVID-19 is very important. It's very important for helping to control the spread of this virus, which as we know is raging through our communities. The quarantine only works when we actually stick with it. Knowing this and knowing how hard it is to quarantine for 14 days, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has been carefully evaluating emerging data that and our growing confidence in testing has allowed them to offer two new options for quarantining that will be reasonable for many Ohioans. A 10-day option that does not require testing, provided there are no symptoms, and a seven-day option with a negative test, again, provided there are no symptoms. We ask people to quarantine, that is to stay in their homes, after they've had close contact with someone who has COVID-19 to help prevent further spread of the disease. Because as we know, it can be carried and transmitted by people even if they never show symptoms. Now I wanna be clear, staying at home for 14 days after contact is still the safest way to limit possible spread of COVID-19. And we continue to recommend this for people who might be in settings in which COVID-19 is at risk of spreading extensively. But for others with no symptoms, the 10-day or seven-day period may be appropriate based on circumstances or guidance from their local health department. This may, for example, be a reasonable option for many in a classroom setting where distancing and masking are being consistently applied. But in every case, whether quarantining for 10 days or 14 or seven, maintaining a physical distance of at least six feet, wearing a mask when around others are vitally important. Keep an eye out for any symptoms for the full 14 day period, regardless of which option you are participating in. And if you become sick or test positive for COVID-19, well, then you need to stay home and self-isolate. And that means staying at home and in a separate room from others. Now, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to comply with quarantine guidance whenever we've had a potential COVID-19 exposure. That's why these enhanced quarantine guidelines are so important. They strengthen our quarantine guidance at a critical time in this pandemic by reducing the burden of quarantine to improve compliance. I wanna reiterate, we understand that quarantine can be difficult. It can be difficult financially, socially, and for mental health reasons. But there is no question that it can help us reduce the transmission of this disease. When you quarantine, you are protecting your community and fighting alongside all Ohioans to reduce the threat of COVID-19 to our lives and to our livelihoods. So, Dr. Vanderhoff, thank you very much. Um, so in, in summary, uh, this is guidance from the CDC. This is now guidance from the State Health Department, which goes out to the local, local health departments. And summarize again the ultimate objective in making this change? What, what does CDC hope to accomplish? What does the State Health Department hope to accomplish? Thank you, Governor. Both the CDC and the State Health, State Health Department have recognized how burdensome that 14-day quarantine period is for so many. And now we have much more scientific evidence that we can rely upon that says, well, for many people in the state, 10 days without a test or seven days with a test is going to do a very good job. And because it's easier to comply with, it's going to be a better outcome. More people are going to be able to stick with it. And therefore, we're now offering that alongside the CDC 
as an option for most Ohioans. So one hope would be more people likely to comply, more people likely to do this. That's that, right. The, the harder the hill is to climb, the fewer people are going to do it. <laughs> okay. We're trying to we're trying to lower that hill. All right. Very good.